Now I'm just going to show you this lovely guava. This we call the seedless guava and it's a little bit of a misnomer in that it does have seeds. The reason it's called a seedless guava is because it has very few seeds and they're edible so they're not hard like some guava seeds can be. Uh, so you don't notice them so much when you eat the fruit. So it appears to be seedless, although it does actually have some seeds in it. So you can see there, there's just a few in the center. If you don't like them, it's quite easy to just take that centre bit out of the fruit, just like an apple core. It's beautifully aromatic. I wish you could smell it because it's got that lovely, rich guava smell. It's a real tropical fruit aroma and it's a nice sized fruit. So it's got beautiful white flesh and these lovely pale lemony yellow fruits. So they start off green and when they're ready to pick, they're this lovely soft lemon color. Absolutely beautiful fruit. Like all the guavas, it grows on a lovely ornamental tree with beautiful bark. They're a lovely tree to grow, easy to grow. The main problem with guavas is fruit fly. So although this is not grown under exclusion, it doesn't have any fruit flies. So that's really fortunate. We have got netting over this tree. It's certainly not under exclusion. If you have this in your garden, the best way to get clean fruit like this is by netting your tree. So once it starts to set, just put a fruit fly exclusion net over your tree. You'll be picking these beautiful fruit. They're really lovely, eaten fresh. Thank you.